The Kwamba Q1 is a great first step in the door for anyone that's trying to drop that old pad for a nice arcade stick to get into fighting games. This is my review of the Kwamba Q1 for the Xbox 360 and the PC. One thing to note about the Q1 is the fact that it's got authentic Kwamba stick and Kwamba buttons. They're not Sanwa, they're not Kuro, so that's definitely something to take into consideration. Now in terms of the Q1, you can go with the white or the black. Now I believe that they are separate due to the console. If you go with the PS3, I believe you get the black version. If you go with the Xbox 360, you get this nice white sleek version. Something that I mentioned earlier, it is both compatible with the Xbox 360 and the PC or if you choose to get the PS3 and the PC version. Something to note is the fact that it's been confirmed that at EVO, PS3 arcade sticks will work with Ultra Street Fighter 4 for the PS4. So if you were looking for a stick, look no further because you can get a great price and something that works for EVO. On the left side of the stick, you'll see the compartment for the cord. The cord is not too long, but it's just enough if you're playing locally console or if you're playing at your PC near you. At the top left of the arcade stick, you'll notice that you have a start button, home button, turbo, mode, and select. The stick is also quite nice. It reminds me of a bit of a mix between the Hayabusa from uh, Hori and the Sanwa JLF. It's definitely a nice in-between. It's also customizable if you choose to take it out, as well as the buttons. Now with the Q1 that most sticks don't actually provide, you have these two clamps that are attachable and you can take them off just in case you want to. They work perfectly well and keep your stick very still when you attach it to a surface like a table, which is very nice for users that don't like to hold their stick or keep it on their lap. On the bottom, one benefit that you'll have with the Q1 is that you get to have these rubber paddings that keep it still. So if you're playing on your desk or on your lap, chances are you're not going to have to worry too much about your Quamba Q1 sliding off and possibly falling or breaking. One of the first things that you'll notice about the Quamba Q1 is the size. It's quite a bit smaller than the average arcade stick. Here's a quick overview of the difference between the Q4 and the Q1. The Q1 is about 5 pounds and 13.5 by 8.5 by 3 inches without the clamps. With the clamps, it's 13.5 by 10.5 by 4 inches. All in all, the Kwamba Q1 is a great stick at a great price. You can get it for $70 full price, or you could probably find it on eBay for quite a bit cheaper. So I definitely recommend it. Out of 5, I would give it about 4 out of 5. For price, build, and overall size, and uh, just carrying it around, it's so convenient. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about the Q1 or any thoughts that you have.